Hello, crafty friends. This is Lynn Give Diva. Welcome back to my channel. <sighs> Let's all collectively sigh for Friday. <sighs> I hope you all are doing well out there. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for joining me. Um, I know it's been a minute since I had a video, and I'm very sorry about that. Uh, if you're um, not new here, you know how much I love you. So I wanted to come on today really quick um, and show you, I'm going to do a product um, review. I'm going to show you uh, uh, this infusible ink product that was sent to me by a company on Amazon. And I will either have that flashing across the screen or have a link to it in the description box below. Um, and then I'm going to show you some products that I did with the ink and tell you what I, um, what I think about it. So this company uh, has uh, what they're calling infusible ink sheets, like, you know, kind of like the, the C brand sheets. And um, they asked me if I would review them uh, for them. And so I said I would. And so they sent me a Valentine's Day bundle. And I already used one sheet on a project. And at the end of the video, I will have a photo of that project because I used the whole sheet. I messed up the first thing I did and had to use the second half of the sheet to correct it. <laughs> so, you know, how we do. Um, and so, but I will share with you the rest of the sheets. Now, these are duller than they come out. They come out more private when you, once you sublimate them. Now, if you're not familiar, uh, familiar with how sublimation, uh, I mean, infusible ink sheets work, um, I will... Um, show you, I will, I'm going to go, um, we're going to do a camera switch and I'm going to show you how, how I use them on one of the products that I'm going to use them on. And so it's basically kind of like, uh, the next level HTV. If you're used to iron on vinyl, this is kind of the next level, but you can only iron, you can only use this on certain sublimated substrates. They have to have the coating, the sublimation coating in order for it to work on that substrate, whether it be a blanket, a pillow, a mug, whatever it is, it has to be coated with the uh, sublimation process before this sh these sheets will work. You just can't put this on a cotton shirt, for example, um, which I ordered shirts and uh, they were cotton and I didn't know they were cotton. So anyway, anywho, I digress. <laughs> uh, so here's the first sheet. It's kind of a fun plaid color. Um, then the second sheet is this, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got these, uh, big, pretty roses on them. And I'm, and again, this is a dull because it hasn't been applied to anything yet. So I'm hoping that when I figure out what I'm going to do with this sheet, um, you know, the colors will be more vibrant. This one is in like an all over print. It says forever love baby. It's already mirrored for you. Everything is done for you. All you have to do is pick what you want it to go on and the design you want to create and go for it. Here are some cute little gnomes. And they're each holding a letter in the word love, which is really cute. Like I said, because because you haven't put them in anything yet, they don't it doesn't really show up well. Um so we'll see um what I'll put that on. I feel I feel like that might be a mug. What do y'all think? And then They've got this uh, buffalo check. And then this is kind of a glitter effect paper. It's not glittery necessarily, but it looks like, you know, photographic glitter. This is a uh, sheet with like heartbeats on it and it says, fall in love. Then this sheet says, be my valentine. It has covered in lips. And then finally, this sheet is just has a bunch of white hearts on a black background. Very cute. So it's a very cute set. They have other sets. They have a watercolor background. They kind of have like a grunge effect background. They have like a unicorn theme. Um, they, I get the impression they're kind of a new shop because they don't have a lot of things, but they do have, um, you know, bundles like this for not, not a bad price. Um, and it already, of course, it's on the transfer tape. Uh, so let me, um, I'm going to go away and come back now that you've seen the sheets and show you what I use them on. So stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, had some fun, uh, doing some projects with these invisible ink sheets. A couple of thoughts. Here's what I have left. 
Now they are a little thinner than the Cricut brand of sheets. Uh, so you have to be careful when you're weeding them. Uh, but they cut beautifully and they weed okay, you know, keeping in mind that they're a little thinner than the, if you've ever used Cricut infusible each ink sheets. Um, they subbed beautifully. Uh, I really liked the way they sub, and I'll show you the projects that I did. Uh, and I'll try to give you, and what's nice about these is I thought about it as I was doing my projects. If you don't have a sublimation printer, but you have an easy press, uh, and you want to try to dabble your toes in, in this. Now, I, I like the Cricut Infusible Ink, but I don't like, um, they don't have a lot of patterns that really speak to me. Like they're, you know, they like have watercolor and grunge backgrounds and and um, leopard print, which leopard print's okay, but they, they just don't, they have a lot of florals. Um, they don't, they don't have any really um, interesting colors that speak to me. And I never thought before this com company contacted me, I never thought about searching on the internet for infusible ink or other sheets like this. It just never dawned on me that other companies, I mean, I don't know why, because whenever a company comes out with something, people try to dupe it. Right. So, um, not saying that this is a dupe necessarily, but this process, you know, this ink sheet process, um, I never just thought, I never thought about searching for use to buy anything on Amazon. I never thought about it. So when I got this, I went on Amazon and looked and there are tons of really interesting patterns on um, the internet. So if you're, if you're, I say all that to say is if you're new to sublimation and you want to kind of see how it goes, you don't need it and you don't need a printer for this. All you have to do, and all I did for these projects is cut basic shapes uh, just to test out the product, but um, it's, it was super easy to use and you can, you know, decorate some stuff and get your feet wet, you know, and decide if you want to do so a sublimation printer. It's just a thought. So, uh, let me just get to the projects and stop babbling. So the first one is socks. I did socks. I got these from five below and I use this, um, I use this, see how dull that is. See how bright it came out. I used, uh, this like platy pattern and I put cutie pie on the socks. Aren't those cute? <laughs> super, super cute. I love the way it came out. The color came out vibrant. Now, I don't know if this is their sheet or if it's the product. I don't know. But it's a it came out a little bit sticky. I haven't used, uh, it'll probably go away in the wall when you wash it. Um, but it's just a teeny bit sticky so keep that in mind uh, if you decide to get these sheets so there's the socks and those were those were pressed at 375 for 45 seconds i use my new easy press 2 thanks honey because <laughs> my old easy press only goes up to 360 uh so the new easy press 2 goes up to 375 uh and i did it for 45 seconds and that's what i got so next i did these ceramic uh, car coasters and so now I think I pressed these too long uh, I got these from Amazon too I will link everything that I can remember to link in the description box below including the link to these sheets um, everything will be in the description box below so these I think I pressed them too long the, the, the description in uh, on Amazon said to do them at 400 degrees for 200 seconds. 200 seconds is way too long. Um, I think next time I will do them at 120. I mean, they didn't come out bad. The color is super vibrant. Uh, compared to, let me show you what the sheet looked like before I pressed. You know, so it's nice and dull. Came out super vibrant. Um, so I like that. Uh, but there's just a little bit of ghosting around the edges. Which means I almost burned it probably. <laughs> so... Um, I think I will, I will do this at a lower temperature next time, but they're pretty. They came out pretty and I'll probably put them in my car because, you know, they're for me. Um, put them in the cup holders in my car. So, uh, those are the car coasters. Next, I did an MDF coaster with a cork backing and look how pretty that came out. I love this sheet. Isn't that pretty? And if you want it, you could go back in with some HTV or some uh, permanent vinyl. Excuse my hand, y'all. 
there's just all sorts of bad stuff going on there. Um, and put a name on there or something. And it, it just came out super pretty. And so this is the sheet before I pressed. And this is the sheet after I pressed. Super pretty. Now, I did make, disclaimer, I did make two of these. <laughs> but I thought I took the plastic, there's a plastic covering that comes on this. And you have to pull off. I did not pull off the plastic covering. So I sublimated on the plastic, basically. Uh, nice to know that works, but that's not what I wanted. So that one will end up getting tossed. So there is the coaster. The coaster I subbed at uh, 385 for 90 seconds. So I did 385 for 90 seconds on that. This one's one of my favorite projects. This is a, I have a Galaxy 10 uh, by Samsung phone, and I found these on Amazon, uh, the covers that you can, and this is basically a metal sheet that's sublimated, and you pull it off. There's a sticky back on here, and you just attach it to the sticky back. Now, I did not do it straight, so it's a little crooked. So, and that's, so I tried to pull it off, and it bent a little. So that's me, not the product. <laughs> but look how cute that is. It came out so uh, so vivid. Um, here's the sheet before, and then here's the... Um, and I'll have pictures at the end of everything. Isn't that cute? <laughs> so that's my Valentine phone case for the, for the next few weeks. And then, lastly, I made these two cute little... Um, pouches. I got I got them in pink and in white. Again, both came from Amazon. Now the pink, again, I think I had the heat a little too high because I'm, I was hoping that when it cooled off that you could see these lines. You wouldn't be able to see these lines, but you can. So I think I might have had the heat too high on that, but it came out pretty. But the white one subbed beautifully. It came out perfect. And so this these little guys are so adorable. And this was, they were on this sheet here. And then this is how they came out. So I got all of that good juicy ink right on the, right on the coast, on the thing. So those are my projects for this. Thank you. Uh, I'm not going to try to pronounce the company's name because I will not get it right. Hopstetler, I think it is. I'll have it linked in the description box. Thank you for sending me the, these sheets to try out. I really appreciate it. And um, I enjoyed playing with them. And I have to think of some more projects to try to use with them. Um, you can get those glitter bags at Dollar Tree. And use these and sub right on top of the glitter. So you could cut out some designs. That would be pretty. And make some pretty bags. Some pretty gift bags for yourself. Um, I have some mouse pads. I started to do a mouse pad. There's so many things that you can do. But I... I got, I got torn. I got worn out, y'all. <laughs> this is all I got in me on a Friday night. Uh, so, uh, these are all the projects. And like I said, I will have photos of all of these at the end. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Um, thank you for liking. Do all the things. Like, share, subscribe. And um, I will catch you guys in the next crafty video. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.